Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number 60. This, You know this is actually the Halloween episode? I feel like I did the Halloween episode last year. Did you really? I really feel like I did. But nah, no way. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah, it's spooky though. Yeah, I really feel like I did though. But not, nah, I think last year, what's what episode is this? This is 60. So. Eight. Oh no, low key? Because like, you did the 10th episode. Hmm. So dang. Bars, I'm nice bro. Hey, came full circle yeah, year round. Kind of. Welcome back to another episode. Well, if you haven't already know, Tyrone is back. Yeah. And you want to do the sponsor? Um, oh, I didn't tell you what it is. You didn't even uh, film me. Uh, as you first <laughs> tell me what it is. <laughs> Shout out to our sponsor, Natural Shield G. If you need something for your mind, something to help with anxiety, help with focus in school. If you need to help focus in your school, take this three times a day, put in your tea, put in your water, put in coffee. And it's like, um, it's like natural minerals and stuff. So oh, it's like vitamins. Yeah. I don't know why you didn't like put me on earlier, but I guess it can't. Hey, you want to try it? But you know, like, like, do I, like, do I have to, like, just Wait, eat nah, it? Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. So, nah, you should have put me on to this way earlier, though. Nah, I think it's good for you, though. Like, I'd be up to like 2 a.m. studying, like, epidemiology. <laughs> 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 I'd be studying the dumb shit. Boy. Tyrone be studying, I don't even know what the, what is, can you, what is epidemiology? So I'm studying epidemiology. I have a class called epidemiology. So it's basically about, like, diseases and, like, Epidemics, epidemic, yeah, that's the best way to explain. It. Now, there's other things that are epidemics that aren't diseases, but so but they're mainly diseases. Oh, okay. So it's like, you know, heart cancer, shit like that. So is it true that all the diseases we ever cured is in one room? I'm not gonna lie, that could be true though. I feel like <laughs> low key from my from class. I just I just cheated on exam. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I'm saying, because they said I heard like they said all the. All the diseases that was ever cured in the world is like put into like one room or like in like a would, certain area. It would actually it would make sense definitely by like the CDC would have it. Yeah, like I'm saying put together definitely. So like but I'm saying all the diseases we probably cured are probably in the air. Oh, in the because, air because because if they don't affect us anymore, we wouldn't need to. Like the flu is probably in the air way more fluently. Than oh we. yeah, probably because like most people get flu shots. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now even if you don't get a flu shot, you like become more immune to it. Yeah. And tolerant to it. So. Okay, I guess. It's kind of safe. Because I always thought, like, if there's, like, a building, I always thought there was, like, a building in the White House. Well, not the White House, in, like, the Pentagon with all, like, the, the oh, shit. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I feel like there's a building like that in, like, every state. Like, I'm not going to lie, like, every state. <laughs> like, 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 there's a CDC building? Yeah, because, like, think about it. Like, I feel like they do it in the White House, but, like, if the White House gets, like, <clears throat> ran up on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, say, war, we're right about to, you know, fight Russia and shit. Yeah. Say Russia runs up and they're like, oh, we got the White House now. We got your diseases now. What's up? That's what me? I'm saying. That's they crazy. Can, I feel like they got that everywhere. So it's like, oh, right, you got one of them. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> like, they can just duplicate that. Because, like, like, no, I be thinking, like, what if, like, uh, they, like, like nuke it or some shit and, like, they just, like, let the diseases out. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> like, nah, the black, black nah, plague out. one thing out. I did hear, though, is that it's in, um, like... If they get nuked, like where the, all the diseases are, if it gets nuked, like it's still safe. Oh, okay. It's like in a, like it's underground and it's like in like uh like sealed like radiation everything like. Oh, okay. Just all right. As long as we got that shit covered clear, up. Super clear. As long as we got that shit covered and up. Low key, what I want to do in the FBI, as you know, I'm top op, so yeah. Big fat, was about to be in the federal you know agency. But like um, <laughs> one of the one of my like mentors or whatever, what he does as well, he monitors all the chemicals that go in and out of federal buildings. Yeah. And like I mean, he couldn't tell me everything, but it sounds like he's monitoring like. Stuff like you know, oh, the, like the bad the, stuff, the, the, the disease suitcase that's oh. going in it, like the you show, know, like the X in the, in the yeah, in the, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. he has a very important job, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, if there's any outbreak, I, you what's the guy name? Ah, no, <laughs> I'm gonna go to that nigga. I still want to get the job. Bro. So, <laughs> wait, so he's wait, where'd you find him off of? So, I met him through a career fair at Rutgers. Right? Oh, that one, and then no, I didn't meet him there though, I met a FBI agent. Then I talked to him, and he plugged me in with another agent who plugged me in with him, and he ended up like he talked to me, and he was actually really friendly. Oh, so you're actually gonna be a Fed? Okay, hopefully. I thought they turned you down when you went to that shit. Let me knock on wood again, bro. I had to knock on wood, bro. Hey, they, they, they turned me down. That's what the, Yo, Tyrone went nah. to the, the career fair in an all black suit. All, bro, I dressed <laughs> like a fed. I don't know why people. Yeah, I literally walked in. I'm like, I'm dressing up for the job. Like, I literally walked straight. Said, Darius, where's the FBI table? He said, in the back corner, bet. Walked past everybody else, bro. I ain't care about nothing else but them, bro. <laughs> Only talk to them, bro. Hey, yo. Hey, man. You gotta do what you gotta do. But um, if you haven't already, follow us on all the socials. Follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. We're almost at 210,000 on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram at No Regulars.podcast. 
Follow all the pod podcasting platforms at No Regrets Podcast on Insta on oh, no, Instagram on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel of No oh, Regrets Podcast. One more thing, I also what, I promise school has been busting. But I'm gonna fix the Discord. Y'all need to join. Oh the yeah, Discord. join the Discord. We have a when lot I, of people in there. Yeah, you don't even talk. Once, no, once. <laughs> like you can I only say talk, some I only, words. I only joined like two times. Feel me? Somebody <laughs> at me. I'm gonna feel me. I'm gonna go crazy. But um, I'm about to fix it up too. Cause uh, when I be playing games and stream and whatnot. Yeah. Cause UJ like talking shit. Feel me? And then like John like talking shit and all that. And everybody yeah. wants the podcast, so I'm gonna put it so I can stream there too. Like just anybody can stream a game if they're playing it. Oh okay. I'm gonna fix it up, bro. But join the Discord. So when it's fixed up, you can just you feel me. If you want, it's nice right now though. But if you want to play games with us, New Modern Warfare coming out. Once Discord has games now. Just, they oh. got an update so like you could play like a uh, little activity, like little mini games. Oh, like, mini games. Yeah, competitive. You know, you know, a talk shit channel. Oh. Basically, going to talk shit channel, challenge a guy to a game and get crazy. That's tough. Exactly. Yeah. So Discord, yeah. join the Discord. Also. New um, I got also discounts going in the Discord for the for the clothing merch and stuff. Not now, soon though. So join the Discord if you want to giveaways and shit like that. And um, yeah, merch should be. I already gave Tyrone his shirt, so merch is here. Merch should be shipped out on Wednesday because I, I bought the the wrong uh poly mailer, so I gotta do it on Wednesday now. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the wrong size, so everybody <laughs> that's been waiting, I'm sorry, it was coming soon. And yeah, welcome to the No Regulars Podcast, where one day we might get canceled. Yeah. For the shit we talk about. Yeah, I gotta. Oh yeah, you gonna drink? This is my drink of the day. Haven't been here in a minute, <clears throat> but if you remember, always got a bev. He also has these apple pies. Ah, uh, they're and he ate. Kill. He ate every single one of these. There's like, there's one more. There's one more. There's, oh, there's one there's more. One more. One more. Wait, is that the, yeah? This yeah, yeah, like out of garbage. <laughs> this is yeah. gone, bro. She was busting, bro. Look, wait, I'm using each. This whole container is 1,200 calories. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> you was. <laughs> I ain't no dinner. Yo. I ain't no dinner. 1200 calories, nigga. But this shit is SIE Blueberry Super X LXR Hero Hydration. One day you just gonna get the wrong here. shit. Let's see how this shit tastes, bro. Yeah, this shit mid. It's um, mid? Nah, it's, it's okay. It's, <laughs> Wait, like, me, try, try. It's, it's like watered down SIE. I ain't gonna lie. I actually like watered down stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I hate you, bro. Oh. Wait, nah. It's okay. Like, it's... It's okay. apparently hydration. I don't know. It costs taste, me three bucks, bro. That tastes like freaking... Like, uh... Got like a grape aftertaste. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, the <clears throat> kombucha thing I had, I like that better. That's gross. You know I bought a second one? <laughs> That's disgusting. Kombucha yeah, is gross. I don't like ginger soda. I nah, like that tastes like... Bro. What's that called? What's this shit? Body armor. Oh, I love body armor. That's probably why it's... Okay. I hate body armor. I'm not gonna lie. Body armor, Okay. Man. Nah, the fruit punch will go stupid. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it like how everybody does like it. Nah, I fuck with that. I really? Fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with body armor, bro. I see niggas drink the strawberry banana ones. Mid. No. That shit looks mid. I'm like, yeah, ew. No, no, no. <laughs> like, what the when fuck? Fruit punch and then like the orange one. Uh, orange? Yeah. Like, like it's just straight orange? Straight orange. Is it mandarin? No, it's orange. Oh, it's orange. It's oh. orange. It's orange. All right, all right. Straight orange, yeah. But... But as you know, people, I used to play basketball, but Tyrone is still playing. Even after, if you guys remember from last year, we was talking hella shit. Yeah. This nigga is still, still <laughs> hooping. This nigga is actually starting. Yes. We used to be on the bench yeah, no, yeah. talking about he, I, a year ago today. <laughs> literally a year ago we was today. Over, we was in the podcast just like this, bitching. I <laughs> oh, everything, bro. How's it going, though? Is that right? Um, It's pretty good. It's mad young guys. Like It's a big-ass gap between because it's me, Jordan, Chim. Mir, shout out to Mir. He's injured now. Torn yeah, ACL. Nah, I heard. He told you it's he got his MRI, torn ACL, and uh, so he's MCL out for the year, bro. Yeah, he's done. Six Dang. month recovery. Dang, um, bro. He's supposed to be our best player returning. Free then this is me and Jordan. So is Chimster. he gonna come back? Um, he, no, 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 no. Oh no, he's done. I was like, yo, come back next year. He was like, no, I'm not. Oh. He said, once I graduate, I'm not getting my master's. I'm not going to school. I'm leaving. I'm not coming back. Oh, to dang, Rutgers. bro. So he's done. But um, it was it just us? And then it's like. Russ, but remember, Russ didn't get to play his first two years. Yeah, so because it's ACL, and then it's two year a two year gap. So there's a whole bunch of young guys on the team. But don't you guys got transfers? We got Tony. He's from Bloomfield. He transferred from Bloomfield. He's really good. He can shoot. Who else we got? RJ. I don't even know what year RJ's in. Did I, did I ever tell you like like my like I known him since like well not known him oh, RJ. Yeah. No. Like my father, my father, like my father and his uncles, right? So his brothers, they knew his father. Since oh. they was kids, and like, City? yeah, what and like, heck? and RJ's grandfather used to cut my dad's hair, like, they was their barber. 
What? Yo. I swear to God. Like, I remember he came for a visit, like, last year. I don't think it was, only, it, was wow. only, it was me, Jordan, and Quincy in the gym, and we were shooting around. And he was like, his father came up to me. He's like, You don't remember me? I was like, I was like, No. <laughs> he was like, Oh, your dad knows? Because I guess he's like, he was best friends with like my cousins. He's like, going he start- on squirt. Yeah, like, I have a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> he started, no, he was like best friends with my, um, not cousins. He was best friends with my uncles. Oh, okay. Like my okay. uncle Kevin. And they were older than my dad. So, like, he knew what? my father. And he said he seen us on like Facebook because my dad posted the shit like, when we won the ECACs. And that's how they like, came here, I guess. They, so you're recruiting for a lot of Nah I don't know Yeah, yeah. But we low key do though How yeah, do you know people from key. Union <laughs> You know what I mean Low key low key Like how many people be from Union bro Yeah Live on the team I know Yeah we got yeah. Oh, That's good for live bro. We got some We got some good dogs We got some It's gonna, We gonna be alright We got some You know Like two people We need a little humbling You know what I'm saying Who hey. Think they up here and shit Hey it be yeah. like that It be you know like that But since we talking about sports bro I was I was debating about this before I don't know if I asked you this question like what sport requires the most skill and least skill? Um, I think before I had a whole different like theory on it, but I'm gonna be honest with you right now. In terms of s- the most skill, I'm definitely gonna put like baseball. Oh you yeah, you need coordination. You need hand eye coordination is really. But if I don't put baseball, like I'm gonna put baseball, cause like th- I want to say baseball or basketball. Yeah. Now, the reason why is because you know oh basketball players so I'm gonna say basketball because look. You know how many people can't shoot a basketball? Exactly. Like, if you put us, right, just in the mid-range, not even a three. Make it light. Mid-range, close-range shot. <laughs> We're going to do... We do form shooting to warm up. Mad people can't even do that. Exactly. Then dribbling a ball. And not then, everybody could dribble a basketball. Then dribble a ball with somebody trying to take it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then footwork and stuff like that, right? But then the reason why I say baseball is because the physical... You can get away with basketball with being, like, physically talented in some areas. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like... Defense? Me being six eight. Say I'm six eight and I could jump out the gym. You feel me? Yeah. Call me Zion Williamson. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If Zion Zion has skill, but if Zion didn't have skill, he'd still be able to get away with a lot. He'd still make it to the league. Yeah. You feel me? But like baseball, like I, this fat dude's playing baseball. I know you gotta be like, like you. What the hell's going bro, on? Here? Like I never realized. Like you know, like the infield. Like yeah. you know how hard they hit them balls. But it, yeah, it's and you mad gotta like far. you have to like you know the reaction to no not even far like like hit like grounders. Oh yeah. You know yeah, how fast like, that comes at you? Scoop down. And yeah. you gotta you gotta like. Get, first, you got to get the glove to the ball, yeah. and you got to get to pick the spot. Yeah. Pick it up, throw it. Like, that's a lot. And not of, only that, like, like set your feet to throw it. You that's what I'm me? saying. But so that's like, a, it comes a lot. Dude, I couldn't even do that little league. And I was trying. And that, that ball was coming <laughs> one mile per hour. Like, I couldn't even do that shit. I ain't going to lie. I was kind of nice. Yeah. I couldn't do it if it's fast, though. Nah, I couldn't even do it. Like, I've like, seen him. I'm like, dang, that shit will go right past me. Yeah, bro. But then, like, and then, like, you know. How that, about hockey? Because everybody can't skate. Um, Hockey, but, like. Feel me like it's like a little like a little bridge. Once you learn how to skate, I mean, it's not like, dribbling, but like actually like handling, yeah. like handling the puck and the stick. It's actually not that easy, but you could get away with some physical attributes though. Yeah, you I mean, could really truck some dudes. I don't know. Hockey's another skillful sport. I don't put it above basketball though. Nah, I put it because you can get me is, in hockey. But if is, I know how to ice skate, you is get it above me in soccer though? Hit, I get in the net. Is it above soccer? So, oh my god, soccer is mad skilled. Footwork, like I can't, like I never. Nah, realized, I can push the ball down. The no, field I never realized. I never realized how hard like the touch is on your feet, because you got we have touch on our. I hands. mean, so to be nice, you need a lot more skill. But put it like this, right? This is where I put the standard. Put the lowest standard. Give somebody basketball and tell them to sprint up the court and back without losing the ball. Okay. A lot of people are gonna lose the ball. And you know I, what I'm th- this is my whole thing on it. I think is like, what can you like? Can you get like? Can you get a group of friends that no, never played sports and just go play a sport? Like, and have fun. That's what I'm saying. Certain sports. That's why. How many people you see going, damn, I'm about to contradict myself. Because you could Mad do, niggas be playing basketball. I know. You can do that with <laughs> basketball, and you can still have yeah, fun. But it's not. Yeah. That's why I don't. It's not, like, maybe that. But you can't do that with baseball. But that's what I'm saying. Like, skill. Like, baseball. You, bro, like, feel me. Like, I know, like, Tay. He plays, like, uh, intramural, like, baseball. He feel does? Me? Yeah, but, like, I <laughs> doubt he's nice. Tay, if you see this, you suck. But I'm saying, like, but I'm saying, like. Say you put somebody like in a baseball situation, like, all right, I need you to like go here and just hit the ball. It's gonna come at you seventy miles per hour. A lot of people are gonna miss. And then not only that, okay, now we're gonna play, it's gonna fly at you, you gotta catch it. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I might take away from baseball because I could catch a baseball pretty light if I see that shit. In but there. you gotta think about everybody though. Cause like, all right, the the one that has a, requires the least amount of skill, people, y'all gonna get mad. It's football. It gotta be football. What? Bro, I that's why I didn't even talk about fo- football. T- <laughs> I'm telling you right now, bro. You can just be fa- if you can run a four one forty in football pads, not like like 
I don't even know if there's anybody in the league who do that right now. Yeah. But four two, say four two forty in in shoulder pads, you can make it to the league as a receiver or as a running back. Right now, you need muscle. You don't even need a running back. You but, can just be the the gunners. But think about oh yeah, no cap. But, <laughs> yeah, no cap. But yeah, no cap. And they need people like that. But then yeah. think about it as well, right? All right, you need strength, but that's physical attributes. Yeah, so if you, you can get lift. strong and fast. You're gonna be good. And then okay, now you can't catch out. For example, I don't know anybody who knows who John Ross is. You know who John Ross is? Yeah, the one that from He's, Washington. Yeah, he was mad fast. He's. I think he broke. Did he break it? He, he was on the Giants. He was on the. He Bengals. was on the Giants and the Bengals. Yeah, he literally just mad fast. He dropped every pass. His his rookie season, I think he caught one pass in his time. <laughs> he got really? targeted a lot. He was a rookie. He was really nice. He's really fast. He's still in the league right now, because he's so fast. That's what I'm saying. He's, and and also there is there's people that play college basketball, mm-hmm. never played college football, and are in the NFL. You know, people like there's a there's a dude that played big man at VCU is a tight end for the Colts. Exactly, bro. So like, I'm like, like, look at um, uh, Harrison. What's the on the Steelers? The look, he's one of the best undrafted players ever. He was a Super Bowl. Uh, what's his name? He's a linebacker. What? James Harrison. James Harrison. There you go. He's mad ock. I know. But guess what? <laughs> you could throw him in the middle of linebacker because who's running through him? That's true. No one's throwing, running through him. Now you need a little skill, like for certain positions, like quarterback, safety, DBs. You need a lot more skill than you need physical attributes. Right? Yeah, but. You can get away, like, bro, DK Metcalf, right? He's fast and huge, right? Uh-huh. <clears throat> I'm going to say his hands are about the same as a lot of people, like a lot of other people, but because he can get up so high, he's a wider range to catch the ball, yeah. and he can outrun people, is why he's so good. That's true. You know I mean? You could put, like like I was saying, you put somebody in basketball court to dribble, they're not going to be... They're, they're not going to do that. Do you're not, nobody's going to be able to shoot a three. I might you go put out. You put a football in somebody's hand and tell them run fast, they're going to run fast. That's what I'm dog. saying. You're just running. Actually, people. I'm going to dial it back. I'm not going to come crazy for football players. Like <laughs> he that. said just run back. No disrespect. <laughs> track, bro. Track. Oh, no, no. Track is another track one. It's free. Like, you, you track literally, is so free. Like, you literally, like I see people go Division One for track. I'm like, you just they just started like two years ago. But like... like <laughs> Niggas got a whole scholarship after two years. Because they just athletic, bro. They just found out like, oh, I'm pretty fast. Yeah, <laughs> Like what? Because <laughs> look, there's so many. Like for example, like you, right? Yeah, you're really fast at a basketball court. Track coach Baki, like, hey, you wanna come? You wanna come play some? That's you run some track. You're like, come run the 200. We just need someone 200 just for today. Just for today, put a jersey on. You just run because you're faster than everybody. That's you know what I'm saying? On a, all football players will run track because they're ready fast. Exactly. Just throw them on there. Feel me? You just run in straight. You run in circles, bro. But hey, don't don't come for it. I, and I know the football players of the community; they really hate hearing it, but it's the truth. I remember somebody saying football is the most you need. It's like now you have to be the most. <clears throat> I feel like the most uh, durable, like mentally tough. Oh, I guess because like you gotta want to run into somebody full speed. Oh yeah, <laughs> every position. If you're soft, you can't play football. Okay, I get you. Like you gotta want to run into a brick wall. That makes sense. Sure. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> you want to talk about something, or you want me to go talk about something real quick? Um, no, you go first. All right. Because since it's Halloween, bro, I got a lot of weird stuff to talk about. You know they're making a, a Barney documentary? You lost me, bro. But you, you know what, what the documentary is about, though? Wait, wait, Barney, like, as in, me love yeah, you, yeah. you love me. All right, that's some so, there's techn- so they're making a whole documentary on, like, the evil side of Barney. How there's Loki, like, this oh, I can't even say it. CT. I, wait, oh, you know. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say that. <laughs> like, hella assault, hella money laundering, scheming. All that behind this, Barney, what is, bro. This, what is this rated? It's on Netflix. It's going to be on Netflix soon. Oh, so this is like an adult film. Yeah. It's I like thought a, you were talking it's like a, docu- a documentary it's, for kids. Like. Nah, bro. It's just telling the is whole Barney thing. Is Barney still being aired? Hell no. Oh. Okay. Like, I heard there was a whole lot of bad stuff that went along with Barney, bro. Like, what? Like, really bad. Wait, tune me in. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't come out yet, but I just heard like it was like really bad. I'm not going to lie. I could... Like, it's going to explode. That sounds like, a mo- like another movie you can make. Like, I feel like there's a movie about like somebody like... A TV show and they're really behind the TV show is just there to make money. Yeah, but behind the scenes they're really taking. Oh, that's kind of. You know, you feel me? That's kind of tough. I ain't gonna lie. That's kind of <laughs> a lot. Like that. Like, kinda, the, like the whole shit scheme. is not tough. That's a good scheme. That's, a good, scheme. <laughs> that's a good movie idea. <laughs> that is oh, a, I'm like yo, what's up with you? Nah, yeah, nah. That's a great movie idea. Cause like a I'm lot of the up. like a lot of the TV shows, bro, is a, like they're hiding a lot of things. Like even you know Nickelodeon. Mm-hmm. I heard a lot of stuff like with the remember oh, man. what's his name Dan Schneider. No, my man's Nick Cannon, bro. He, no, not Nick Cannon. Wasn't he behind Nickelodeon? No, not, not, he was just a part of it. I'm oh. talking about, you know, the, the directors. His name was like Dan Schneider. He's okay. the one who directed like Zoe 101. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Like uh, iCarly. Uh, Victorious. Victorious, all them shows. <clears throat> yeah. And I heard he was like in on a lot of like 
uh, underage things of that nature. What's it, who talks about it all the time? Uh, Orlando Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah. He talks about that stuff all the time because, like, think about the Hollywood business. Like, you know, you hear the whole thing about, like, Hollywood, like, how you have to, like, kind of sell your soul to yeah. make it big, like, mm-hmm. to be really famous. Mm-hmm. And, like, you see, like, with certain people, like, oh, you have to do this. <clears throat> like, you see, like, why did he become this way? And, like, for example, like, Kanye, like, people are saying, like, he's trying to back out of his contract he made with, you know, quote unquote, the devil, Illuminati, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So that's why he's, you know, going like, psycho like, or whatever. Oh, like regressing? Yeah, shit? regressing. Everything's going bad for him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like, especially as a child, like, you're really naive. Like, you say you're, you're decent at acting. All right, yo, sell your soul to me, bro. You know what I'm saying? You could be the most famous motherfucker alive. Sell your soul. You go up there, you feel me? You go and you make it out. I feel, or something like that. Like, not like, sell your soul is just like a, a metaphor, but yeah. just like, feel me, just like, donate yourself to something you know what i'm saying yeah so i, I get you like, that, yeah. like like i think that's of course that's probably going on a lot of people have been talking about that they said that a lot of um i remember i was talking about it with jay before they said a lot of rappers like they get signed to the labels because of based on like how dangerous they are because yeah. like say <laughs> if they die or they go to jail like their publicity goes up Damn. So they get so the so the, technically the business gets more money off that so that's why they go for like the the guys that are in gangs and Free things like that you. that's what i'm saying like all the sales go Damn. up. So, that, so I don't know if that's a correlation or just like a coincidence. Damn. That, that's kind of sick, that though. That does make sense, though, because they die. And it kind of relate. Like, most people want to be in that situation. Like, want to be gangster. Yeah. So, they want to be in that situation. I might eat this last bite. Um, but yeah, I'm about to tell <laughs> so, you. it, like, cycles in. Yeah. So, it's like, like, it appeals even more. Like, yeah. you have all these people, like, role models now that has, like, been in gangs and things like that. So, now kids be like, oh, it might be a little cool. Let me be in, like, Young Thug gang, things like that. And now, oh, he rapping too? Oh, he's oh, dangerous. He go. got he dangerous like Young Thug. Let me let's go add him to the label. Mm-hmm. Give him twenty thousand dollars. Go buy a chain for ten thousand. Twenty thousand up front. Now he wasted all that money. He has to pay his back now. People don't understand that shit. Damn. But but with the Dan Schneider thing with the Nickelodeon, you know how? Do you did you ever realize what happened to Zoe One Hundred and One and how it ended? I just love that shit. Did did my boy Chase ever um bag the girl? Yeah. Did he ever bag Zoe? Or? I don't think so. Damn. <laughs> But I think it ended because Zoe got pregnant at 15. Mm, she was 15 in She was 15, bro. Wow. I didn't know she was Britney Spears' sister. What? Yes. <laughs> On God, I swear. Yo. <laughs> it was so random. Also, what grade were these kids in? Because I know it was like boarding school. But I thought I they were was, in college. No. <laughs> they <laughs> was on a college was campus. Like, that's what the college was like. But I think it was high school. <laughs> it, was, oh it, was like a, it was like a high school. But I think they was like freshmen. No wait, yeah, they, they had to be freshmen or like in, in middle school. No, in the, in the oh, high school, so oh. it was like a boarding school. But I heard she got pregnant at fifteen, so they had to cut the show. But they they said it was with her boyfriend, but they also think it's with Dan Schneider because the baby kind of looked like him. But that's like the whole thing that goes around because they said because they be saying like there was like a lot of allegations like you know Jeanette McCurdy from iCarly mm-hmm. like she wrote a whole book about how mm-hmm. I think she said I don't know I forgot I think the book is like called like I wish my mother was dead or some shit. Because she was mad at her mom for letting her go onto Nickelodeon because she was getting like I guess like assaulted by like Dan Schneider and all them people. And it's like some it's like a whole thing that I guess like you know when you sign a contract you can't speak on things. Damn. So they probably oh, like can't, an NDA. Yeah, so they probably can't speak on it. But like they Damn, probably did, he probably weird. did a lot of stuff to them girls. Why are niggas weird, bro? I don't know. You know, you a director. You making mad breach. What are you doing? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't understand with the people with the kids and stuff. Go get some bitches. <laughs> like, come on, no, bro. Like, I, don't, doing, I bro. don't know why you be going with the, like with the little kids, bro. Bro, that's so weird, bro. Hey, but like, like with the like with the stuff like that, right? You know how many people like going missing? That shit really ass. You still drinking it? <laughs> like, I ain't shaking. I was drinking the top. Like, I'm shaking it. This shit really ass. <laughs> These taste the, the grape, bro. There's like a little bit of grape in there. Yeah, what the fuck? Very mid. That's whatever though. But like I was I was um watching a lot of Joe Rogan and stuff like that. And like he was talking about like, you know, the whole um I can't I can't say the word, so we're gonna call it we're gonna call it uh C P or C T. Okay. You know what that means? The um little yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna call it C T on this show. Okay. <laughs> so okay. oh no no. Before I get into that, there's even something crazy I seen, bro. Some guy recently just got arrested for having 68 terabytes worth of CP on his laptop. Wait, what is this? CP. Say? Wait, no, how much? 68 terabytes? terabytes. People, if y'all know how much a terabyte is, I have a terabyte for my for all the podcast videos. I have one year's worth of pods 
on that one terabyte. Bro. He has 68. Bro, my entire computer can only hold a terabyte and a half. <laughs> Yo. Like my entire game, I have Warzone on there, bro. Warzone <laughs> takes up a terabyte, bro. Nah, that's max, bro. You know they said that's equivalent to He's like a thousand years worth of CP. Yo, niggas, go get some. Bitches. Like that's <laughs> kind of nuts, bro. Yo. Like, what do you even <laughs> find that? Like, yeah. like, come on, like, what is this? Is that all? No, that has to be all of it in the world. Not nah, as more, bro. Nah, like, I don't crazy. know, bro. Like, you can't even. He has not seen every video in there. That's what I'm saying. Like, he, why do you? Is he running a website? What's going? On? Like, what the heck? Is going I don't on know, here? bro. Like, it's that's crazy. Bad, hella, hella. C. He got arrested. What do you? He got arrested for it. What do you serve? So, like, what do you? What do you get? Like. I think it's like you get like life in prison. Is that nah? You you might get like probably like thirty, but you gonna get. But your where's ass the beat. limit though? Like I'm saying, like oh oh, because like he no no no, you know what he, he might get. He wasn't technically doing nothing with it, right? But where's the limit to where it's like all right? You have two terabytes, you're gonna get twenty years. You know what I'm saying? You have the limit, 68. The limit got to be over. Got to be life, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, no, no. <laughs> you have 68. You got to be in there forever. You can't come out, bro. That guy go get his ass beat. Yeah, the, what? Yo, he's mad. The beating that man is going to get is crazy. No, he might not. He ain't making it out of there, bro. It's oh, man. But the but the whole things with all the, the, the CTs and shit like that. Like, you know how many, ki- like, how many kids began, like, Damn. CT'd, bro? Like, Damn. it's like a, like, it's in the millions. Damn. But like I know, like do you understand like do you ever like wonder why? I'm I'm thinking about it right now. Is the, obviously a mental disorder, but like come like But like think about I, it, millions of to- are getting like like you know getting out of here. But it's like wh- like what is the purpose of that? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to find Cuz like there's not a lot there's right not now. that many sick people. There can't I'm be look, that many I'm sick looking for somebody to blame right now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like, like cuz like, like you know cuz like you know there's um people that believe that there's a whole like the whole market for that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that like all that dark web shit. Like, yeah, people, bro. There's so much. Like, that's why it's like even and you'll be surprised. It won't even be somewhere like in the hood, like Irvington or Newark, like where. Nah, like, it'd be the. It'd be the. It'll rich, be like the up rich the, neighbors, bro. You know, Westfield, Low Key, you know what I'm saying? Scott, that, they might kill me. Scott's <laughs> place. You know what I'm saying? It gets kind of crazy, but you feel me? Like they like over there because like they're oh you go take a little innocent little white. Or something, yeah. You might go to Newark and snatch a kid up. He might have a gun. <laughs> he might shoot you. Yeah. He might be protected. Guy, he yeah. might be. Safe. Yeah, he might be up there. Yeah, <laughs> but it's like I think they be saying that they use these and they like torture them and they take their blood and that's how they look like so much younger. I heard about that regarding. Um, it's called like. Adrenaline. Hopefully, we don't get canceled for this. Oh, uh, regarding like Hillary Clinton and that whole. You yeah. Know about that? So like, they their whole thing where like their pizza party thing, whatever. Yeah. Like they take. And like they're doing experiments on them, almost like it kind of reminded me of some shit to be honest. Yeah. With you. But like, and they'll just like take their blood, take their organs, see what they can do to change their body so they can be younger, like you said, mm-hmm. and like <clears throat> get rid of diseases and stuff like that. And like because they have so much money and so much power, nobody they can like cover everything up. Exactly. But then somebody like, for example, like Donald Trump. Oh wait, I need a leg up. Let me expose her her little thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something like that. But like, I feel like. It'd be so impossible to uncover unless you have money, and if you have money, all the other people with money are gonna target you if you try to stop them. That's true. That's so, true. Cause like they say, it's like a little thing in your blood. It's called like adrenochrome, and it's actual. It's an actual thing. Mm. And I guess like when you get scared, it's like it comes yeah. into your bloodstream. And they yeah, say that's yeah. like what keeps people like looking younger. And like when they're off it, like they see in like celebrities, like they look mad young, but so when they're, they're off scaring it, little intentionally to, to get their adrenochrome, whatever. Yes. Like they basically, it's basically you, you ever watch Monsters Inc. It's like Damn. that, like you know how Monsters Inc. They scare little kids to get the screams to power up the whole world. I'm gonna stop telling people what I'm what I'm scared of, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that's nuts. Because, because like, like damn, cause what, then they have to figure out what they're scared of. Yeah, bro. That's nice. And it's like, and it's like people like you know Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, I, yo, I don't, I don't know if you know. I really just know that he died and he was he didn't kill himself. What do you know? What explain to me about Jeffrey? Epstein, All right, so I, I guess Jeffrey Epstein had was like a part of like this whole like CTs thing. That's so, why he went to jail. Yeah, so okay. he got he got caught. He had like a whole island with a bunch of kids and shit. Okay, okay. But I guess before the trial, they said he committed like suicide and shit. Yeah, and like, but he had guards that was supposed to watch him. But like, I guess so they got they got charged because they didn't do their job. Yeah. But they also think that. People, somebody, the government killed him because if he would have went on trial, he, he was gonna expose everybody. Because he spo- he thinks that because he says like there's like hella mm-hmm. government officials that was on the island with him, mm-hmm. and like they was doing like I guess there's like a big like like cult type so of thing. What's that guy? He's 
I want to say he looks like Jack Black. I, he's from the UK. He, um, he was in the UK office. Uh, he's one of the main characters in that. But I don't know his name. He was on the ESPYs or one of the awards, and he yeah. was like talking about Epstein. It was his last time hosting it, and he was like a really good host. And he was like, I know he's all of your friends or whatever, and he just started going off about it. Really? Yeah, I saw a clip about it. But then I was like confused. I'm like, why are people like admitting to being friends with Epstein if he was like a, you know... Child travel. What did Epstein do before? Was he like a movie star or something? Nah, I think he was just like a. I think he owned like a. He was like a CEO or some shit. Oh, he was, he was just like he was like like really like rich, so he oh, knew a lot of people. Okay, okay. But like I guess like he had people like on his island, like people like Tom Hanks, mm, like the, no, not Mike. Yeah, that's why they he's, like even like he's they, they be, to the cookout, not Tom. <laughs> like they was talking about Tom Hanks was on there. Even like you know Bernie Mac. Remember Bernie? You know Bernie Mac? Not no no no, no, no Bernie I'm, Mac wasn't on there. No, but I'm, they said Bernie Mac knew about the whole thing. It was gonna say something. And, and that's, that's why they killed. They think because like I didn't even know you could die from pneumonia like Bernie. that. I mean, you could, but like you're Bernie Mac, bro. You're not dying from pneumonia. That's not, I saw. Did he have a heart attack or something? Too? I, th- I thought it was pneumonia. That's it, bro. Bernie so like, Mac was. So that's the whole thing that. about that. I don't know if that's the case because it's kind of Whitney Houston. Nah, it go down the line. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people like Mike presidents. Jack. The cl- like they, they said it's a whole like thing Damn. about that. So I don't even know. That's just kind of creepy. Even like Sandra Bullock was talking about like the adrenochrome thing on like yeah. a on like the was it the the Ellen show? Oh. She was talking about how she used like adrenochrome. They they like she was like hinting like oh we take stuff out of the skins of like younger people and it makes us look younger. Some shit like that. But she they was like joking. But I'm like why are you even talking about shit like that? Yeah, you're folding yourself. Man. Like so I'm like I don't know. Maybe this is all just like a little thing to like knock us off the path of what is really going down. But that's kind of weird. That's mad. Cre- I ain't gonna ask creepy though. That's mad creepy. I'm scared me. I ain't gonna lie. Like I, I, was, I heard about this mad long ago, but it just I was just I was just like yeah nah bro. But speaking of creepiness, right? So I was about to say, the Uncanny Valley, right? Yeah. I think we talked about it here before, but like I think I probably I saw something about about it and it made me really think. So like, the Uncanny Valley. You remember what it is? Is that the one where it's like you're like afraid of something that looks human but it's not yeah. human? So yeah. So like when it looks too human like damn near too perfect oh okay so like i was watching something and it was like um like thinking about the uncanny valley why are we like naturally afraid of that so, so in some part of our evolution our bodies had to be afraid of something that looked human but there was something slightly off so say like a robot mm-hmm. right or something like this ai that looks so human but you could tell it wasn't because it was perfect you know yeah. like everybody has flaws in their facial features or something but without any flaws, there's a problem. Yeah. Now I was thinking about the uncanny van. I'm like, what? Like, what would make sense? Now think about it. You know how like, I personally I feel like it's pretty much guaranteed there were definitely aliens here before. Like yeah, before. Th- like when Egypt and all that. Like all oh, way back, way back when. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like to help us out, whatever. I, there's too many hieroglyphs and stuff like that. But I feel like there might have been something where there was monsters or whatever it was that looked too human, and in, in our evolution to the to decipher whether we should trust like another humanoid figure was divide like developing that uncanny valley like complex or whatever. Yeah, right? I think now have you ever seen like a real picture of um oh my gosh, what's his name? The rich dude, bruh. Who uh, uh Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg, dog. He had he his face is mad uncanny. Like if you look at his face, like it's mad perfect. Like it kind of does creeps me look kind of weird. Like if I if I don't he, think he, he, blinks. he barely. I was just about to say that he do, he barely blinks, bro. He's like, it's like yeah, I'm definitely a robot. Ha ha ha. Like his jokes are mid. Like <laughs> yeah, I know <laughs> everything about him is mad. Like so Suspect? I feel like yeah. So I feel like if there's an alien that's gonna come out, first person I gotta point at is him. You feel I, me? Like or something that is not like really human mm-hmm. and is made up or is AI a Jeff robot. Jeff Bezos kind of look kind of weird too. Yes, but I've seen videos of him like having a uh uh what's it called? a genuine laugh. Oh, okay. Whereas, oh, you never like, seen Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg like he's laughed and like stopped laughing and expected people to just believe him. I'm like, yo, bro. Like I remember it was like an interview and like they said like, Oh, so what do you say to the people who think you're a robot? You're not real. He says, Well, uh beep boop bop and then <laughs> like and then he like face straight and then like the interviewer didn't laugh, nobody laughed. You're like, all right, next question. <laughs> like, oh no, nah, that's, like, that's bad weird. That's bad weird. That's bad. I'm like, weird. yo, that wasn't that. You didn't get me, bro. You lost me. Like you feel me? But like I'm saying shit like that, like the uncan that uncanny shit. Like, and I thought about it too. Like there's this movie's coming out. I think it's called Sarah. Oh, I think I know you're talking you know, about. So, yeah, yeah, like shit like that is genuinely scary to me. Like. like I'm like, feel me? Like if I see a monster walk in this room, feel me? I'll be like, whoa, a monster, and then I'll like. 
All right, let me beat his ass. Yeah. If some tall figure that looks mad human like in the face walks in here, I'm like, yo, blink, nigga. Like you, I'm, 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 I'm like ducking this. I'm gonna get really scared. Like I think that's that's more scary than most things, bro. I get you. See, I, with that, I also seen some shit that they said that we will be more afraid. Like say, like we went to go see aliens, yeah. we'll be more afraid if it look they, the aliens look like us. Like just imagine we go to like Mars and them niggas is just like us. Yeah, like that would be mad. See another Darius. He's like, that like, was good. I'm like, what the fuck? Like that's mad like, yeah, crazy. I lived on Mars my whole life. Nice. Like that's like that I feel like. Cool. Like, I, like they say, like I remember, I think I, I probably did talk about it. It was probably mad long ago though. They say like things like the reason why we're scared is like I think you, I don't know if you said it, it's like things that look like us were hunting us at one point in our evolution. Yeah, that's what I feel like. That's what I was getting with that, like the whole evolution process. Like they look so they like they're mimicking us to kill us. So in their evolution, they mimicked us, and in our evolution, we had to decipher the differences. And that shit is is mad creepy, bro. So I gotta get into the FBI and figure this shit out. Hey, bro, <laughs> you you get in the FBI, CIA, bro. Yeah, Let me know. I'm ready. I'll, I'll call. I'll pick up that. I got my call. bag, bro. Niggas know. I got, <laughs> got my bag. We can say I got my bag. <laughs> but it's like um, like oh, and think we since we're talking about evolution. I had a. I was wondering why. All right, so you know, there, did the cavemen live with the dinosaurs? Yo, I was thinking about that the other day, and I'm like, bro, there's no way, like. Dudes were living with dinosaurs, like, or or like you not even dinosaurs, because you know back then the animals were way bigger. Like they had like a big bro, ass like sloth, yeah. big ass bears, big ass like turtles. Yeah. So bro. it's like so it's like the only thing that we because like in our world today, right? Mm-hmm. We're at the top of the food chain above all the animals, above all the yeah. shit, because we're smarter than all of them. Mm-hmm. So if you take away our smarts, oh they could low key take over Deep. the world. So mm-hmm. I'm like, all right. So back then, how come we didn't get like go extinct? Yeah, faster. But because we had no, we didn't, we weren't as smart as we are now. Even think about it, bro. If we had to climb a tree, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't climb a tree faster than a cheetah. That's what I'm saying. Cheetah gonna catch you. Like, I feel like we would, we would have, like, if for real, like, we would have been, like, hunted down already. But then I'm thinking about it coming from, like, Neanderthals, right? Like, we yeah. evolved from Neanderthals. Like, they were, like, a little stronger. Oh, okay. And bigger. You feel me? And a little more sturdy, you know what I'm saying? So you think they probably was able to, like, fight off against the shit? Like, they resembled, like, you know, Gorillas and apes and stuff. Oh, okay. So, like, so they weren't those like gorillas wouldn't attack us. I'm really thinking, bro. If a gorilla walked in here, if you see a gorilla, gorillas jump in the air and fight. You ever see a gorilla jump in the air and fight, dog? Like they actually do. Bro, that? They're like superheroes, bro. <laughs> they jump in the air and like like punch. Oh in yeah, the air yeah, until yeah. They, yeah. Fo- they go stupid. <laughs> but I'm saying, if a gorilla sees me and I don't know, like to just leave that thing alone, I'm dead. So like us evolving from them. Okay, now anything hunting a gorilla wouldn't hunt us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Or anything was that wasn't hunting a gorilla wouldn't hunt us. Yeah. So that's how I feel like we got like a little bit of the leeway. Okay. Then we discover fire. And then you know what I'm and saying? And then we just started we go build off running of that. it up. Because yeah. you know there's like there's that I talked about it before. There's that one gap between Neanderthals and us that nobody knows what the fuck happened. I'm not There's like so many theories that could go into that. Mm-hmm. There's theories about people finding mushrooms, like like and busing? They got high. And that's where we got that's how we got smart. There's also a theory that aliens came down and like re, re did our genetics made our yeah made our genetics and created us to like and like this is how everything is like counterbalancing each it, other. Bro, like we have hair on our head, but like less hair on our entire body. So I'm like 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 with Neanderthal, did they like oh, no? Nah, they probably definitely did like mate with each other. Nah, they did, but like I'm saying, like why did it keep going one direction? You know what I'm saying? Like away from being so strong and oh, less smart. You, I know what you mean. Like, I'm saying, at what point in evolution did we need to be less smart? Because, like, gorillas have the physical attributes to be perfectly fine in the wilderness, right? Yeah. But at what point was it like, okay, being smarter was better? I mean, I guess, but, like, why did it keep going up and keep going up to the point where now I'm learning how to make tools and, you know and what like, I'm saying, build uh, a fire, I- cook, cook food. Like, not just have tools, because monkeys know how to use tools. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, build a fire. To build to make something and then build a crib and then you feel me? Yeah, I get you. You think do you think animals will ever get to the point where it's like evolution like that? But I don't think we'll ever see that shit. No, no, nah, we would never let that happen. We'll never let it happen. Never let that happen. Yeah, we'd be experimenting <laughs> with monkeys, bro. And then monkeys like, oh yeah, you get a little too smart. Bow, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like a yeah, no, planet of the apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that will never happen. I, I won't let this. <laughs> like me personally, I'm like, if I see, if I see, like giraffes can now fly plate. Like, what? like what's going on? You me, you gonna like, make up, make them go extinct, bro. Yeah, what's going on here, bro? I'm just getting out of hand. Hey, bro. But and 
to piggyback on that, like how how do you think the world will be in the next like a thousand years? Like a thousand a thousand years from now, like how do you think it'll be? Two ways, bro. Either we gonna be here, or we not. like so. First, I think in the next hundred years, like even before a thousand, it's either gonna be we're gonna be mad advanced because like, bro, think about a hundred years ago. I think that was when the first plane or. It Definitely not, around that time, it was, was probably the first time we ever started flying. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And now we got now self-driving we're in space, cars. dog. I know we got self-driving cars. We're in space. We got meta universes, bro. We're talking about going to. We went to Mars with we set with the rover. To Mars and came back. You I know. Feel me? So so and that's that's in less than a hundred years, bro. So then you take something like that in a hundred years. Now it's either gonna collapse in terms of whether it's global warming, we kill each other with nukes. Or, you know, we get sick and everybody, the population goes down, whatever. Mm-hmm. Or we're going to evolve to overcome that and then become, like, a super smart civilization where, like, we're super efficient. And then, mm-hmm. like, in a thousand years, bro, I think we're going to be, like, what we would call aliens. Like, we're going to, like, we're, we're going to be outside the galaxy, bro. I think so. See, I've, see a I thousand, was... thousand, if we survive it. We got to survive we, Yeah, it, we got to. So, so that would be, what, year 3000? Yeah, but, like, we got to have, like, people who, like... Care about shit. more niggas like Elon Musk, <laughs> like because like go, like government officials like like uh, politicians they don't give a fuck. I know they don't. They just like, care they, about- like it's money. Like you say the like, global warming. Ah, fix global warming. Ah, let me get that breach and then y'all figure it out. Because <laughs> well, they about fun. to die anyway. They don't care. You feel exactly. Me? So, I just think I feel like I remember I seen a video. They showed like what an AI would think how the how we would evolve, and they said by the end it's like we turn into like like at one point we turn into AIs. Like oh, our consciences, oh, consciousness download are ta- downloaded into robots now. I'm not gonna lie, I think that might that would be nuts. It's either that or it's gonna be a big ass reset. Yo, the fact that there's a virtual reality world, bro. Eight years ago, bro, niggas talking about VR. You know the Oculus shit Q got? Yeah. Eight years ago, talking about that shit, bro. Niggas like VR. Mm-hmm. Niggas didn't now know. that's a whole real thing. Nigga, we had a Wii. We thought we, the Wii was our VR at one point. Like, I went on a date with my girl to freaking. <laughs> I'm over here shooting zombies. I'm think I'm really shooting zombies. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But I think downloading consciousness. I think that's gonna be. Um, I think that's actually gonna. That would be like our safest route. Like, all right, we cannot even live in the real world. Uh huh. Start downloading that shit. <laughs> just and make- then live in that world. Mm-hmm. But it's gonna be harder because like they can really lock you out your crib. Like, <laughs> like literally, like you can't break in. <laughs> like there's no loopholes. Like like they just controlling your whole shit. Yeah. Like- that's why. That's why I feel like it would be bad. Because, like, being in poverty means you're really in poverty. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have no money, there's no, like, all right, well, my cousin, I live with my cousin this whole time. No, no, we only said two people per crib, bro. (laughs) Good job, my guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what. Yeah. Uh, It would be something like that. Or, there's you ever realize there's always, like, an apocalypse for every, like, during, like, in the Bible and all things. There's always, like, a a major reset, like the the flood, freaking asteroid coming. So, there might be a reset. Coming. I feel like some, I feel like I, that's what I meant to save. I saved it. And I was like, I'm gonna put it in my notes for the pod. What was it? It was like this river or lake in the Middle East somewhere over there. Yeah, it's like a really like really important to biblical sense and stuff like that. It's like drying up, mm-hmm. and it was like underneath is like in the Bible said there were like tombs of certain demons or whatever that were gonna. And if when it dries up, that's when they'll come out and like start the apocalypse. Yeah. That's where they'll start killing people. Some way. You know, nah, demons start doing it. And it actually be. dried up. It actually dried up because of global warming. Is it dried up or is it dry no, you up? can. No, it's dried up now, bro. So that shit's about to come out? there are pictures of it. You can walk in there now. Nah. And like, it's so like we're, getting demons? Clo- we're getting close to that side. Like where something's going to have to reset. Like, Oh, that'll be OD. I ain't going to lie. Bro, I ain't going to lie, but they better do it before like I get stressed over the school shit, though. <laughs> because like... <laughs> Cause I'm over here wow. Cause like Like I feel like Everything like Always like recycles itself So we everybody always goes through Like most of the things Like We got mad niggas On this planet too I know So you never know bro I'm ah, that, That's a That's mad scary Like do you think We'll ever go through Like a disaster Cause like we never I been think, through No honestly I think global warming Keeps going I think we're gonna be In some Cause think about it Like New York City You know global warming Everything's gonna flood I think all of that is going to have a huge impact where then cities are going to have to be built in like Nebraska and shit like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Like on the inside. I think we'll be able to overcome it, but I feel like that's going to be crazy because like poverty is going to get crazy mm-hmm. in the U.S. You feel me? Like because sea level is going to rise and all that hurricanes going to hit and it's going to really fuck up Dang, like where bro. people are living at. Make sure y'all recycle, bro. <laughs> Make sure y'all recycle. But, Conserve energy, yeah. But all right. So I got, a, I got another thing we could do. So since it's Halloween, bro, again, the Halloween spirit. 
I have a question. So can we survive these certain horror movies? So if we were ever, so if we were put in those horror movies, this might be a part two. I don't know. I don't think I die in horror movies, but go ahead. <laughs> you won't be those one. You won't be those uh, people. It really like you nice. Yeah, I'm probably not dead, but go ahead. Yeah, so there's a couple where I die. So, there's, <laughs> so it's just me and you, and we're gonna be in a horror movie. <sighs> Some of these, I ain't gonna lie, you were wor- you the worst person. <laughs> I don't know, but go ahead. So the first movie is Monster House. That's Yo, it, that's light. That's light. Yo, you remember the scene in Monster House where uh, uh, Homeboy fell through the crib? Yeah, and you had to go save him. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't think you're coming back for me though. <laughs> I'm being honest, bro. Wait, like when he fell down, so they went in the crib and then like the house opened up like a mouth. Yeah, you know? yeah, and he oh he yeah, yeah, fell yeah, down, yeah. and they're like, we gotta get him. Out. You feel me? I don't think you're coming back to get me. I will come back to get you, but. In Monster House, say you know we're looking, we're naive, right? I'm not going in there. The house is creepy. I'm going to somebody's house. What the heck? One, but say I somehow get in there. So I'm like, ah, right, I'm gonna look out for Darius. We go in there. We go in there. It's just like, once the first clue of something breaks, somebody's in here. House start moving. <laughs> I'm gone. I, I'm, there's like, no. We need to get the basketball because it rolled in here. <laughs> Darius, you can get the basketball. I'll tell your dad you're coming home late because I'm out. There's no way, bro. But you seen what happened when niggas ran out? The motherfucker ate them. Yeah, that's the. So like, you guys. I'm out dolo. Like, <laughs> oh, you I'm, out, I'm out? not gonna lie. I don't even know how they killed that thing. What they put like cement I don't on remember. it? Remember? I think they like. I think they like brought it to like a, a construction site and they they put like cement on it and like broke it. The house moved. Yeah, it got it got legs and shit. It started running after them. Like, like actually became like turned oh, like alive. Yeah. Shit was crazy. Yeah, I'm going to my crib, mom. This house about to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Get him. So, All man. right. The the next one is the Conjuring. Um. So basically, are one of us possessed in it? No. Like, say it's like uh, say there's another person possessed mm. in the crib, mm. and like so we're so say we're living in the crib like it's an Airbnb and shit. Have another person with us. Some weird shit been going down in the house. Hella movement. You see hella figures. Hella shit. Scratches so and shit. So gets possessed. Yeah, type shit. It's like, damn. So we got to get the exorcism. We got to hold it down. Remember that part in the basement where they couldn't find the nigga? And he just thought they was running after him? Oh, that's creepy. Oh, my God. I'm not going to lie. I'm scared as I'm not, So here's the thing. In The Conjuring, right? Remember they went in. Like, certain shit is just off, right? Yeah. Every Like, when my mom moved, like, she moved to a new crib, like, First thing we did, house getting blessed. We didn't walk into the crib until we brought a pastor there and he blessed the house. Holy water. Everywhere. Really? We did that shit like three times. Oh, blessed, shit. blessed the hell out that house. Oh, the heaven out there. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, so either way, so we, that's one. But once I go in there and see some suspicious stuff, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Say I don't peep it, but y'all peep it. And yeah. I see one of the homies is like over there bugging. I'm going to try and help him, but the moment he says, like, some free me or some weird <laughs> shit, it's dude. Oh, I'll, I'll, you out. Y'all niggas, yo, I'll give y'all the rest of the month's rent. I'm gone. What if it's Kenny? <sighs> <laughs> what if it's your mans, bro? Kenny, I bro, can't leave Ish, bro. Free my guys. I, I, I ain't going to lie. Free Kenny. Oh. Free, yo, like, on it, because Kenny's leaving me. I can, <laughs> I can promise you he's leaving me. Most of my guys are leaving me. I'm a, no, I'm going to leave. I'm going to send help, though. So I'm not going to leave and just leave you, dude. That's that. just, I'm going to send help, though. You're going to send help. I'm going to send a pastor. Mm-hmm. And if he can't figure that out, I'm going already. Oh, so you're out of you're here. you're possessed, not me. <laughs> like, it has nothing to do with me. It's not, I'm not going to be going through doors. and You know, in the city, is how they have to go through different dimensions. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing all that. <laughs> I'm not doing all that, bro. I'm not, I don't, like, you my boy, but I'm not saving you for all that, bro. You just got to figure that shit out, bro. I, be, I believe in God, too. I will not do anything to compromise my integrity with the Lord to save your ass. <laughs> I want to. It's deep. It's Dang, deep. bro. Free them niggas. Yeah, bro. All right, this one, it's it, the clown. So, basically, we have to try to kill the clown. Free. I ain't gonna lie. We'll beat that nigga out. Like, like, just me and you? Yeah. Like, but you like, know what his whole power like we, was? Like we just wake up and we're in his dungeon? Nah, it was like, he's like in the town. He's like trying to, he's like terrorizing us. Like, say he's in Union. Like, we'd be okay. driving. He pops up. He pops up in the crib. And, like, I think his whole thing is, like, he makes, like, your biggest fear, like, happen. Like, in, come true. Yeah. In the crib? Yeah, like, he's, like, everywhere. Like, you just see the, you see the balloons come up. Like, like you just, you're outside, we're outside the, outside the Damn. crib right now. During the pot, you just see balloons. Like, ah, oh, shit, he's on the way. That nigga here. <laughs> like, here this nigga go. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm dead in that one. No, yeah, I'm dead now. Cause you really gotta have some strong ass willpower. That's like the Freddy Krueger. Nah, cause I'd be getting startled, dog. <laughs> like, I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna be like, if I like me and you talking, window open, balloons fly. You might be like, Jay might be like, oh, just balloons. I'm like, what balloons? All right, continue <laughs> podcast. Ignore it. 
then he bust open here and then you feel me? Like a I'm big dead. ass monster. I just yeah. won't be like I won't be on alert yet. Oh, I'm you're probably, not gonna be ten. Yeah, be yeah. I'm probably just gonna. Yeah, it's probably D for me. Dang, it, it, I think it might be D for me too. Cause Plus, I'm he can teleport. Go, it's D. Like he kind of scary looking too. Like I seen him turn like a giant like, monster. He's like six eight. He like mine. Yeah, he's kind of big. Well, he could get like he could turn into like a big ass monster. So I'm like I don't know, but hey, yeah, it's D. It's no, a, it depends. It I depends. Don't even have a gun, bro. I don't care. <laughs> All right, D. this one I don't know if you ever watched this movie. It's called The Strangers. Um, I saw um like the little trailer for it and stuff. I saw it's about it. like a fa- it was about a couple in a house and like some random people was like terrorizing the house. Like yeah, and they like had a mask on. Yeah, they sure. had mask on. So say that's happening right now. Like so, this is what I was gonna ask about that. Do, were they tearing terrorizing the crib in terms of they were like the whole night or was it like multiple days they were doing? I think it was like I think it was like three days. So and, they and tra- it's only at night. Yeah, only at night. So I'm not gonna lie to you. First, like. Oh wait, no, no. I think it was during the day too, but like, I no, no. You know like, what they did? Cool. You know what they did? They couldn't leave because their car broke down. They they, they took the, like in a forest. They lived like in like mad far away. So say mm-hmm. we was in that house and like we can't like leave type shit. Like I think it I don't, it might have been, you know, it might have been a night, either a night or two days. So like for me, I don't remember in the morning. So this is how it is, right? Like, I when I'm at my crib alone, yeah, and I hear some shit outside my crib. Mm-hmm. Like, how do I put Or probably when I'm in the crib with somebody. Yeah. And I hear like a, doom window break. I get on alert like, yo, who the hell is messing with my crib? Mm-hmm. Now I get the fence. I want to go out there and beat their ass. You feel me? <laughs> but when I'm there by myself and I hear a, doom I'm like, that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I get the phone. I'm like, yo, somebody's over here trying to kill me. Like, yeah. feel me? So if they do that, it depends. If I'm with you, then I'll be like, we're good. Because I'll go out there and then say he has a sword. It's cool. I can run this shit. I'm running 55 right now. You feel me? I'm... I'll oh, you think we could get away? Type get, shit. Get a, just enough to like survive. Okay, okay. You feel me? But like, if I'm Dolo, it's probably deep. Nah. I don't think I make it out of there. See, I, yeah, I, I think I real life be scared. See, <laughs> nah, I think if it was just me, I would just run. But I feel like they're gonna like they got like perimeter set up. <laughs> like it was multiple of them. Like it was like four or five of them. But once I hear something, I'm gonna start grabbing some weapons, and then I'm gonna go check it. That's out. what I'm saying. But like they would start, they would start like getting into the house, and they'll be like really sneaky. So they'd be like coming out the cut type shit. That shit was nuts. Like, that was a really scary movie. And it was, like, based off a true story, too. Damn. Yeah, I'm dead. <sighs> I think I got it. I if know. I'm Dolo. If you Dolo? If it's me and you, we good, though. Are we good? All right. We good, straight. though. Because they're not sneaking up back to back. What's up? <laughs> That's now tough. Now y'all playing games? <laughs> All right. Then, and the last one is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I was going to ask. This is how I had a question with Texas Massacre. This took place, like, in, like, a little farm area. Mm-hmm. That's where it took place? Yeah. There was nothing near? No houses near? No, nah, I was like in the middle of nowhere. Okay. And it was basically... I for fr- me, like, you can't chase me with a chainsaw. Yeah. I think... I forgot how it was. I think, like, there was like... It was, it was on vacation or some shit like that. And then... Or they got lost. And they had somebody come with them. And then the guy just started, like, murking them, chasing them around, all this shit. See, that's the thing. Once but I, I think he him, also had booby traps, too. Like, around the crib. He did. Yes, 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 I yes. think he had booby traps. Okay. Because I don't remember the mood too well, but I remember that, like, just imagine nigga with a chase on chase after us like that. So that's my thing, right? I'm going to run, but there's no way you can run faster than me holding a heavy ass chainsaw. There is, that's true. But if he, if we run through the cornfields and he got like bear traps and that shit, yes. nigga, we're done. <laughs> like, but I'm going to run it in the open. Like, there's no hiding. Like, if I know you have a cha- say I hear somebody bust through your front door right now and he has a chainsaw. Cool. I'm waiting for him to try and get up the steps. Ugh, let me get this big ass, you know what I'm saying, or something. <laughs> and I'm gone. I'm going through all the open areas because you have a chainsaw. Uh, <laughs> mad loud, mad heavy. There's no way. You're just not catching. So it. you think we straight? I think we're straight. I think we straight too. You think we can kill the guy though? Uh, or are we just gonna see? Dip? That's the difference between me and you. Oh, you just <laughs> all of these people. I'm not trying to fight. Oh. I'm, I don't want no parts. Like, <laughs> me? like I'm not getting into it. Damn, that's tough. I ain't fighting back either unless you was fighting with me. I'd be yeah, like, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, shit, nigga said, I'm running. Right, we going to run together, yeah, my nigga. Out. Yeah, we are. Nigga ain't going to leave me. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. but like, talking about, like, murders and shit like that, I was watching, I be listening to a lot of podcasts that talked about, like, a lot of mur- a lot of crazy shit that been going on. Mm-hmm. I was listening to this one, like, uh, so it sounded fake. It's called, like, the Icebox, Mur- Icebox Murders in Houston. <laughs> so, so basically, it was a, it was an elderly, elderly couple that were that was murdered but the whole story goes it was a, a family in Houston and it was like a couple it was like an older couple I forgot what their names were but there was like it was um I think it was in their 60s no 70s and 80s 
And their nephew was getting worried because he had, they haven't heard from him in like a week or two. So the police came into the crib, didn't see nobody, they went to the crib, and they went to the fridge and they seen mad like stacks of meat, like like butcher meat and shit like that. So it was like, oh, okay, maybe they just like no. back in it was like during like the seventies, so that's kind of normal. Yeah. But then I guess they kept searching through the house and they started seeing. I think they seen like a head or some shit, and they was like, oh wait, hold on. They went back in. That whole thing was like all the 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 shit that was in the fridge was the couple like chopped up. And they put it like stackly neat in the fridge, and he was, they was all like confused because like you know there's like a crime scene murder like there should, should be blood everywhere, but it's like everything was clean like spotless. So like whoever did this like knew what the hell he was doing type shit. Like they said the org like the genitals was like in the toilet. The they put they took the organs out, flushed them down the toilet, put them in the drains and shit like that. Like he knew what he was doing. So they didn't know who it was for a while until they suspected the son, which I think his name was like Charles or something like that. So he suspected the son. His name was Charles Rogers. That's what his name was. So they tried to look for him for years. Couldn't find him. Couldn't find him. I think it took 20 years. Couldn't find the guy. So they pronounced him dead around 1975. So I guess this happened like in the 50s. Mm -hmm. So they pronounced him dead in 1975. So they don't know. So the case went cold and shit like that. So people started. No pun intended. (laughs) So the the people started suspecting, like creating like little theories on like why he did it. And they Mm -hmm. think that because I guess they found like he had a diary and I mm. guess that because he worked for the um, like the Naval Investigation mm. Agency and shit like that. So they think Charles was recruited by the CIA and he was a part of the assassination of JFK and his parents found out about it and was going to confront him. And so he had to kill them so he don't like let go he of the, seri- the secrets about it. And, and it's like, that's, a, that's like a stretch. Like that's just like, it could have been like made up. But it's like, how can, like we could find people if you if you commit a murder, there's like like no, you can't commit a murder. You now. can't can a, commit a murder now, no, but maybe yeah. in like the '60s you think they you probably could get away with it. But they also could cover that shit up. Like if like oh Charles like he, his parents finally this is the reason why he did. I right, let's just say we can never find him again. They say he moved to like Mexico and was like a, worked in like the mines and shit like that, and then he like died somehow. I guess. So I'm like I don't know. That was just a story I heard. It's gotta be propaganda. That's what, yeah, that's he went what, over the border to Mexico. Like, do you think no, niggas in, like? Because I mean, like, when you're in the CIA, you really can't like give up the shit you talk about. I'm not gonna lie though. I think what's the uh, movie? Tom Cruise is in it. Where that line where he's like, "You want the truth? You can't handle the truth." You know, it's that's like, not Top Gun, is it? No, it's not that. Double Agent 007? Nah. Tom Cruise is like Mission Impossible. Some shit. He was like, you can't. It was he had a whole scene. It saved him on TikTok, but I gotta search. Okay, okay. There's a whole scene where he was going off. He was like, um, you want the truth? He's like, yes, I think I deserve it. He said, you can't handle the truth. And then he started going in. And I think like there's a lot of things. And this is why I think I'd be a good FBI agent. This is part of my interview. So <laughs> I, I think um what's it called? There's a lot of things that happen that need to happen but aren't really moral. Right, yeah. So like, I, I don't think he should have chopped up his family. And oh cut yeah, him. yeah, that's nah. crazy. So yeah, let me disclaim that. Yeah, there's no way <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> should, that should have happened, right? But there's a lot of things that happen that like the public can't know because if the public knows about it, then it's it's gonna look really bad. Mm-hmm. But and I feel like that's a good thing. Yeah, like that all of that happens. Like even like the thing like where like, like oh, secrecy is also good at some yeah. point. Yeah, like you know like oh they're looking at our cameras and their the, uh, NSA is like. In our phones, they know what we're doing. Mm-hmm. So, like, all that is good. To keep us safe? Yeah, to keep us safe because, like, if you're not doing anything suspect, it doesn't matter. It's not like they're posting it on the FBI webpage. Yeah, you know they're just, like, making sure. Yeah, but then, like, then I feel like the only problem where there is a problem is when there's, like, something bad. Like, feel me, like, JFK died, the president? Who's checking those people? You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's the only problem where I think it is. So, like, damn. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, think I mean, because, I, I mean, I talked about it before. Like, a lot of people cover shit up. Cause I remember there's a guy... On TikTok, he sent me a video he wanted me to talk about. Mm-hmm. So I guess there was a soldier who, mm-hmm. I think he was in like Texas, and he was protecting another soldier, like a girl, from from like his his soldier mates, I guess. Mm-hmm. And the guy shot him twelve times in the leg. In what? In, in the, the leg? leg? Like, like shot him a bunch of times, like lower body. Why? Okay. So Why? and like the the whole this whole government is trying to cover all that stuff up, and they're trying to pile on the stuff of like why he shot him in the leg, like oh. And like they they going back on the guy's like background, like oh he was like 
a bad person. He used to do stuff like that, this, that, and the third. But, like, that stuff don't matter. Like, he should... Like, there's no way this guy should be going free because he just shot him, like, 12 times in the leg. And I heard, like, shit like that be going on, like, a lot. Like, they try to cover up all that stuff, like, the reasoning why. I heard a lot of shit in the military. Like, it's... There's not... You can't, who's going to report it to? That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no, like, okay, like, you're going to report your commanding officer like, to... You are the... Like... To somebody else's commanding, like you know what I'm saying, like because then it's this bad representation. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, like a lot of shit in the military. I feel like it's really, really hard to really get off. That's why there's like investigative, a whole bunch of investigative branches in the military, mm -hmm. just to like yeah. check shit like, out, just to double check the military itself. That's that's good, I guess, but like, but like not enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Amen. Yeah, yeah. But um, what else I gotta talk about? I got one. Oh, you do? Oh shit, my back. Uh, this is ironic. Um. Hmm. <laughs> ironic how? Not ironic. Uh, this is funny because uh, Jay's right here. So, would you rather? Oh God! Your partner be able to read your mind at all times. Uh huh. Right? Or they can only read their read your mind whenever you are with your guys. Right? <laughs> like my people, guys? Like with like when you're just with. <laughs> just with like you were only when you're with UJ Jordan, like, it could be the good guys, the bad guys. Only when you're with your guys, right? Now here's the stipulations, right? It's all the time, so it's randomly she could just turn it on and off oh, as really? she wants, right? But <laughs> but if it's with your guys, it would be she could be like studying for an exam, and then boom, now she's in Darius thoughts. Like, <laughs> but it's, as soon as you walk into the link up, as soon as you walk into the link up, boom, now she's in your thoughts. Which one? Which one would you rather have? See. If I pick the guys, that'll be that'll be very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> the thoughts that go in my mind. I'm not gonna lie. For me, I have a uh, my theory. Right, this is my working theory. I have a. I'm gonna say all the time because they just may forget to turn it on. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> but now you're now you're kind of now you're kind of forced because they will turn the mind reading on. If you go with the hang out with the guys, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. And it might not be your thoughts. You might just be listening to, you know, one of your guys say something stupid, and you're just repeating it in your head because it's like, oh, that was mad funny. Oh, like and then oh, she hears that you, you hate women. Oh my god, ha ha ha. But like, <laughs> you're just thinking it, but it's not really your thoughts. You're just, you know, what I'm saying you're interpreting it. But then you may have to like, dang, I'm going to get food, but you're really gonna hang out with the guys <laughs> for a second. You know what I'm saying? That's the only problem. But if you're with the guys and they're like. Do something really serious, and now in their mind they're hearing a whole bunch of jokes and shit. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like, "Yo, how how you and your girl, man?" Now you gotta ex <laughs> your guys ask you. Feel me? You might have to open up to your guys, but like, damn, she can hear me right. She now. can hear me right. You know now. what I'm she saying? She knows what's going on right now. That's, I think it will go like. So you're going, you're at going all times, at right? all times because yeah, they can just turn it on and off. What's it's gonna suck for forever. argument. It's gonna suck for arguments. <laughs> it's gonna suck for arguments. Like, all right, what, what do you think about boop? Is deep. <laughs> yeah, nah, I think. I think I'll just go with the guys. The guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just go with the guys. <laughs> Not all the time, no. I'm good. No, Jay, yeah. she got that shit on all day. <laughs> she got that shit on all day, bro. <laughs> like a frequency, never, motherfucker. Never turn, <laughs> never turn that shit off, bro. <laughs> she got that shit on all day, bro. <laughs> Niggas is funny, bro. Like, oh, so you ate salmon today? You're oh. like, how'd you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, she'll just start saying, like, hello shit. Now. I was like, huh? <laughs> like, what? It's like, I didn't even know I did that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I got, I got another would you rather question, right? Mm -hmm. So... Would you rather live in a world where you have an evil doppelganger and their whole life is dedicated on hunting you down and replacing you in your life? It's lit. Or live in a world where there's a 50% chance you'll die in a freak accident? Like at all times? Yeah. So basically either... Doppelganger trying to kill me. Though. Either live in us or you either live in Final Destination. Hmm. So you got to be on alert at all times. Cause that guy can come and sneak you anytime you want. I'm not going to no one. Damn. You can't run from that nigga, bro. He's me. He's basically he, you. He think like me too. He got your mind, everything, exact he's clone, clone copied. But his his main purpose in life is to hunt you down, and to kill you, and to replace you in your own life. And that's when his life will be fulfilled. Like that's his destiny. <laughs> that sounds like an anime. I ain't gonna lie. I'm that sounds kind of lit. I'm not gonna lie. Like I might actually become like. Like Hawkeye for real. Like I might become a superhero <laughs> because like, he's going to force me into it. Like that backpack will have a use now. Oh, it has a uh, but Now he, it has use. He probably has a backpack. School, mine's going to be better. He might got guns because he's trying to kill you. <sighs> he's bro. actually trying to kill me. So you got to be 10 I have morals. Bro. He doesn't have morals. 
<laughs> uh, but then a 50 percent is a lot, dog. I know it's a lot. You fifty could... percent is a true false question. Pick one. <laughs> like you feel me? Like that's a. I go. You could walk outside in a car just you know. I know. <laughs> like you gotta be on like with both scenarios, you gotta be on high alert at all times. But you can't sleep with one of them. You could sleep with the fifty percent because you feel me. Like all right, my room is clear. All right, let me lay down in the bed. No ceiling fan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> feel me? You lay down in the bed. Cool. I mean, a plane could run. You know, but like, you, but, yeah, but like that—that that might not happen. Doppelganger, he's like, he's asleep now. Let's go get him. Exactly. You gotta, you. You're gonna have to have like. Yeah, I'm going with the fifty, bro. Ah. A doppelganger seems mad cool. I could be a superhero, and really like save myself. But <laughs> yeah, I'm going with fifty, bro. I want to live. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I want to choose the doppelganger because I'm not gonna lie. If I see him, like, I, like he's down the street, and he look at me like it's time. I'm like, all right, bro. It's you could kill him. I, that's what I'm saying. And win. If I, if I kill him and win, it's done. So it's like you could, you got, but you got to train. You got to train too. So basically, y'all both doing the same shit. Damn. So it's like, dang. And also, if it's like, if this happening with everybody, you don't know who your man's anymore. Type shit. Damn. Doppelgangers might team up, man. Like they might, like they might take your, they might take Kenny, they might take Ish, they might take yeah. Jay. I'm like, dang, who the fuck? Like this motherfucker, you got extra, a box. this motherfucker, extra mean now. So why are you talking so much shit? <laughs> like, I'm like, dang. Oh, they I got you? Like, like, they got you? Like, so, yeah, they got you? Damn, it's tough. <laughs> it's tough. Yeah, no, nah, I think I'm, I'm going 50, bro. I can, yeah, I think 50 is a smart, but that's scary. Like, you can't even, you will never be able to Your drive Your whole again. life? Once I'm old, yeah, nah, I think, I, doppelganger, I can kill it. I can kill it. <laughs> so you going to try to kill him? Doppelganger, I'm going to kill him. All right, bro, I think. That's tough. That's a good way to go out. I gotta go out swinging, bro. It's like, is this my time? Because you, go you can't fight a freak accident. But like. if you meet, bro, you can't sneak. You me. can't fly. You can't go to Australia. You can't. <laughs> you can't fly nowhere, dog. I can't use the plane. I can't drive no more. But at least, if he if he like me, I'm like, yo, you're not gonna sneak me. We won't get the ones. But if you also smart like me, you would sneak me. <laughs> like, you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're actually smart. You see that and then actually sneak it. So I'm yeah. like, I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think I'll do the double game because fifty percent is crazy. Nigga, you could just go outside. Fifty is OD. You could just wake up and like, oh my you God. go in your kitchen. You the knives roll just your fly ankle. At you? If you ever roll your ankles over, because <laughs> you can't run, you can't. no oh, agility is yeah, deep. There's no way. Oh my God, there's no way. That's All nice. right, but but now since so I got another question. Since you were talking about yeah. superheroes, right? So so who's so who's your favorite superhero? I think I know already, but I just want the people to know. My favorite superhero is Hawkeye. Okay. He's the best. I think my favorite superhero is Loki Beast Boy. So now, we have our power. We have the powers of our favorite superheroes. What? Yo, come on, <laughs> bro. You let me pick first. and he's a, I don't what? got power. I can be Hawkeye right now. What Marvel or Justice Leaguer do you think you could be in a fight? <laughs> I had to, <laughs> I had to put that out there. All right, now p- niggas don't. Nah, let me fill people in because they're like Hawkeye. All you can do is shoot a bow. Listen, bro. <laughs> he has perfect precision and accuracy. Perfect. Uh huh. He don't miss. You feel know, me? First miss. of all, I'm going to the league if I'm Hawkeye. <laughs> Second of all, he don't miss. He don't miss. Also, great reaction time. So he's Spider Man. He got Spidey senses. Ah, something, <laughs> something can, like something like that. Film okay. on a human level type shit. And he's super acrobatic. Like, he can, you know, if you know Hawkeye, like, he grew up in a circus and all that. Like, he can do flips and shit like that. Yeah. He's cool. Feel me? Now, <laughs> what Avenger can I take out? What Avenger or what Justice Leaguer? Just all think right. about this. I'm going to go both ways with Hawkeye. I I'm can a... easily take out Black Widow. Come on, she regular. Okay. Now, in the comics, Hawkeye did kill the Hulk. So, you know, <laughs> it happened. Um, but, um. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go the... Justice League. Who can Hawkeye kill in the Justice League? I think he could kill Cyborg. Really? Yeah. You think he could kill Cyborg? Yeah, bro. I don't know. I think Cyborg nice, but I actually like Cyborg. You know how many arrows? I like Cyborg too, but Hawkeye better. Like, uh, he could shoot mad arrows or he can, yo, I'm telling you right now. He could, feel me, shoot hella arrows. He thinks, oh, he's over here computing shit. But the meanwhile, one of those arrows was meant to do something that Cyborg, he could outthink him is my point. Cyborg is one of the smartest in the whole. He's, He's computer smart. He's not street smart, though. <laughs> if he was street smart, he wouldn't be a cyborg. You know oh, my mean? gosh. <laughs> and then I feel like he ain't touching Batman. I ain't even going to try that. And he ain't touching Superman. He ain't <sighs> touching Aquaman. He can kill Martian Manhunter. 
Martian Man. Martian, I mean, hey, he's low-key weak. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, you just got to throw fire on the nigga. But, That's what I'm saying. Fire. But how you going to catch? He be going invisible and shit like that. Sound, he can read your mind. It's, it sound good. Oh. It sounds good. <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got arrows, nigga. You yeah. say I got arrows. Who, who, so you, Beast Boy? All right, Beast, Beast Boy. Hard. See, look, all right, I got, so for Marvel, for Beast Boy, I'm definitely killing Falcon. Yes. Falcon is very bad. Falcon is mid. You sleep. Uh, who, Falcon or Captain? Oh, yeah, you're Falcon. not talking about Captain no, America. No, no, I'm talking about Falcon. Falcon's oh, ass. Not Captain America, because you ain't killing Captain he, America. He ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't think Beast Boy could be Captain America. But I could do Falcon. No, you know, because Falcon is Captain America. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you ain't killing Niggas mid. He, <laughs> he, he, I don't care if he got shield. He's still ass in my mind. Oh, he that guy's shit. booty. But yeah. Uh, so I'll, kill, I'll go get Falcon. And then for Justice League, it will either. Martian Manhunter was a good one, but I feel like he will finesse me. Mm. I was going to say Hawkman, but that's too easy. Hawkman is really bad. Yeah, Hawkman is mad. Is mad. Yeah, he ass. should be way better than what he is. Hawkman, yeah. Hawkman's mad chips. Beast was a great hero. But uh, I think I would go with. Um, can Beast Boy kill Batman? No. Beast, I seen Beast Boy turn to Godzilla. He's not killing Batman, bro. Nobody, you don't kill Batman, bro. So if Beast Boy turned to Godzilla and step on Batman, he good. Batman not getting stepped on. Oh, he got he got a plan for that. He has something for that. Bro. <laughs> you he got try, you can try. That's it. so cheese. Like what the fuck? How you got to answer for everything? I ain't gonna lie. Him and Iron Man, bro, it can't be touched, bro. Don't touch him. All right. So am I missing somebody? Martian Man Hunter. No. Okay. It's Flash? Probably Martian. He ain't nah, he, he ain't touching. He ain't Flash. touching Flash. He ain't touching Flash. I don't even care if he turned to a cheetah. He ain't touching. There's Flash. nothing you can do. With you There's nothing you can do. Yeah. Um. God. God damn. That's uh, Shazam. I mean. If, Maybe Basically Superman Basically Superman But with a kid mind So like <laughs> Might take him out I don't know I, I think I'm gonna go with Hawkman or Martian Man on it. I think that's another one Yeah yeah. But you got anything else You wanna talk about Before I go into I think I got one more thing We can talk about Nah I lost my topics I was just searching for him. Oh is you serious <laughs> Nah I had Cause my notes are mad jumbled This nigga yeah. don't label shit Nope But Yeah What else do I gotta talk about Before we end the show Um Oh, okay. So, people, like I said, usually we got Urban Legends. So, comment down your state down below for the new Urban Legends. So, this one is from Tyrone because Tyrone wanted this state. So, if <laughs> if you get bad, don't get bad at me. I pick your state. Tyrone picked this shit. So, we're going to do Urban Legends from Vermont. So, this one is basically like a, a ghost story type of thing. So, it's like called, it's like a, there's a there's an area in Vermont. It's called Battleboro Retreat. So mm. it, so in the 1800s, it was a mental asylum for patients. Mm. And it was actually said to, like, treat their patients really, really well. So, mm. you're like, you know, most mental mm. asylums are, like, bad and shit. They actually, I guess they treat them very well. They actually help them and things. Mm. So, like, I think during, like, 1850, 1890s, I think, mm -hmm. they, was the, they had the mental patients build, like, a tower for them. Like, a big-ass, like, big tower. They built one? Like, the yeah, sick like niggas they, built yeah, the sick, tower. They was building the tower. And supposedly... Like in that tower, like people were committing suicide. So like just jumping off the shit, like continuously. They don't know how many people did it, but it was like, like it was a lot where they didn't like say, like there's no documentation on how much it was. So they said that there's so many people that committed suicide there. So they say like once you go there, you feel like a weird like sense of like somebody's like watching you. And a lot of people say they hear like screams or like the people falling still to this day. And they also see like little figures. They, they sometimes see like figures on top of the tower jumping off and they call the cops saying like, yo, somebody just jumped off. They go, nobody's there type shit. Damn. So like, I don't know. Cause like, like that ghost shit, bro. I'm not going to lie. I be thinking there's some shit in my crib, but like, that, like just imagine, bro. I remember I was watching, I was watching a uh, shit on TikTok about like, you know, the ghost busters thing. So I'd be thinking something, yeah. something that should be fake, but there was a video yeah. where a guy like they was they was doing a um, little Ghostbuster thing. They was mm -hmm. talking to the ghost. They was walking down the attic. Mm -hmm. So they the so the camera they had a the camera right. They turn around. They was talking to the guy. They was like, "Yo, you good?" The guy was just standing there. They ripped his the guy the ghost ripped his ankles from him like in the movies and dragged him. I mm -hmm. swear to God, I don't know if that shit was tweet, real tweet, tweet, or tweet, tweet, fake, tweet, tweet. but I seen that shit. Imagine that shit happened to you, See, bro. For me, right. Once I feel like I'm really heavy on my 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 spirit, right? Yeah. So, like, if I'm about to walk into a basement and I'm like, whoa, I should not go down there. You're not going to go down there. I don't do it. <laughs> not without a, a, a spotter. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, a spotter? You know, somebody look out for me. That's that. But at the same time, like, when I, like, at the dorms, I've been in the dorms and I'm like, 
what the, like I would like wake up in the middle, like I remember I woke up in the middle of the night and there's this story and it's like, I guess kind of true about the dorms that live in 40 and New Street. The building was built on um, where the mob in Newark or whatever. Yeah. They used to kill, like they had, there was like eight dead bodies found on it. That's why it took so long to get built. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, no, 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 no. You're talking about this shit. 40 and New Street, right next to Annabelle, bro. Really? Yeah, bro. So no like, way. That's why it took so long to get built because they had to do an investigation. Like, why were the bodies there? And I guess the mob owned that building that used to be there, and then all that shit, right? Yeah. So like in the building, it's like a whole thing. Like, oh, there's ghosts in the building. I thought it was just a joke. I mean, you feel me? People just making shit up. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night one time. Like, whoa. And I'm like, yo, who's in here? Like, literally, in my mind, I was like, somebody in my room. And then, and then, like, I remembered, I'm blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, yo. Suck my dick, yo. If you're in my room, like, what's up, bro? Like, because, like, yo. no cap. When I feel like there's actually a ghost or something, I just disrespect them. Because if they're, they're not going to disrespect me back, bro. So, like, you feel me? And bro, if what they, if they throw some shit at you? Then, it's, then now we square up. You feel me? And then if we square up and I can't hit them, then I got to run. Oh, shit. And if I can't run, I'm like, all right, you're a mad pussy, bro. Like, let me like shoot the one. You feel me? Like, not my adrenaline. That's what I do. I so see you, that to get my adrenaline pumping. So, I'm not scared. So, you're going to... You're you're gonna fight a ghost. I would disrespect the hell out of the ghost, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like even like one of the other RAs in the building was like, she keeps feeling like there was um like somebody sitting in her shower when she would walk past her bathroom. Yeah. And like leave the door open, the the light off, and it was like past twelve. She would she would always see a figure sitting. And when she would stare at it, it'd go away. Like it would just vanish. Nah, that's OD. I ain't gonna lie. That's like, mad scary. So she stopped. She stopped sleeping in her room for a minute. Or she actually was mad scary about that. But for me, I'm like. I mean, yeah, and my water randomly turns on. Really? In the middle of the night. But I really don't even trip because I got the Bible with me. Like, I'm trying to tell, Like, I keep that Bible with me. So, so I don't be worried about that. Like, But, like, if there's, like, spirits and shit, I really won't. Like, I really, like, I'll disrespect the hell out of a spirit. Just, like, because spirit either going to say something back or is going to do something, try to do something to me. And they not, they really can't touch me. Because if they can touch me, I can touch them. Oh, that's so, what you think? That's how I'm thinking. But like you ever you ever seen them videos of like people waking up they got scratches on them? Oh, they won't need. See, that's what I'm saying. That's mad pussy. Like oh, you're trying that to, one happened to you? You're fight, yeah, could you're fighting me in my sleep? They can fight me to fight the fair one. You feel me? And plus you gotta be a little a little scary to actually get hurt in your sleep. You feel me? Yeah. Like you gotta really be worried about that ghost hurting you. And now you're you're giving it a bridgeway, like a, a opening. If you're scared of it, you're giving it like an opportunity, like leverage to actually, yeah, to actually harm you. Mm -hmm. If you're not scared of it, it can't do nothing to you. You feel me? Oh, that's tough. That's it. That's but, how I feel. But like, that's really what happened. Like they found bodies under there. Yeah, that's why it took so long to get built. Wow, I didn't even. You know, know that. Jared? Remember Jared Paul? Yeah, his brother um, was on the construction for the building. He said that's why they got he got moved. He ended up going to a different uh, on a different contract because it's taking too long for it to start back up because of the investigation. That's OD. Yeah, Cause bro. like I mean like people if you don't know like we live in Jersey so like in Newark the mob run ran yeah, Newark at one point per probably se. like what was that the seventies something like that seventies eighties sixties so it's like that. like you know Week Wake Park bro I heard there's hella bodies like like yeah. either buried there yeah. or in the lake yeah I heard about that in Week Wake yeah. yeah like they used to cause like it's a big ass big ass big shit. ass area and like yeah. I heard the mob used to like like when they did hits on people they either threw your body in the lake like afterwards like I think what they do is like they'll puncture like your lungs and everything so like you just sink yeah so like you, there's no way you're gonna float up on ice tray that's kind of smart and then like I heard like like there was like a there was a point in time like every couple months like they would dig up a new body so, and like, it makes sense because like remember that you know the trail around Weekway yeah like parts of it is like really in the cut mm -hmm. like, you know you really like nobody ever really goes back you go there, there at night like come on so like I wouldn't be surprised if like there's some weird shit and like that be yeah. popping on Weekway, but I didn't even know about that shit in Rutgers. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. So like, just imagine, imagine there's some shit underneath the dome. <laughs> Let me think. Be Any crazy shit happening? Not a dome there? been there for a grip. That's what I'm saying. The dome been there for a minute, so you never know. That's tone. Tone. No. I know tone know everything. Tone bro. no. Tone know everything, bro. Tone no, bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about? I got. Nah, that's about it. All right. Thank you again for pulling up, my brother. Oh yeah. You know. When y'all, when y'all first um. We ain't got no home games, bro. I know. Thank the God. Damn, the, <laughs> <laughs> fuck y'all niggas. I don't want to work this Yeah, you, you got to work that damn whole year, bro. They, uh, Big GA, you know what I'm saying? We got uh, Caldwell Scrimmage Friday. And oh, first, this Friday? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wait, at Caldwell? Oh, yeah. yeah at Caldwell, yeah. And then we, our first game on uh, November 11th. Media Day is on the 9th. Weird. 
Like right next Yeah Wait what do you mean by media day Like you guys gonna like do little Little pictures and shit uh, Who's gonna be doing Tom I think I, uh, I mean Dave not gonna be here Oh that. I'm number one now Yeah I switched I told you <laughs> I switched <laughs> Shout out to my boy Flex Yo shout out to Yo shout out to Ralph Flex Yo come on bro This yeah, nigga bro. This Yeah I switched to number one You bro. switched down 22 yeah, oh, <laughs> What number crazy. did you have last year You had dudes 22 yeah dudes, dudes. Yeah. Wow That shit didn't do me no justice last year <laughs> This nigga went full circle. Yeah, full this nigga circle. went from about to quit, from, <laughs> 20, yeah. from scoring 20 on the white team, yeah. and then getting hurt. Hurt after. every week, yeah, bro. This nigga used to get hurt. This nigga was like Ray at one point. Yeah. No, Ray, he was 155 and turned his ankle crazy. But yeah, yeah it's, it's okay, bro. So yeah. you number one? Yeah, yeah switching number That's one. That's hard. I'm he, number, you heard what you said, right? Oh, so you're number one? Yeah. I'm number oh, let, let, yeah, let yeah, UJ yeah. know, bro. That's a, he know, bro. Oh, you know? He oh, know, that's bro. tough. Exactly. Thanks. who's going to get dudes, dudes? Who's going to get 22? I don't know, bro. No, I we already put the numbers and nobody picked it. So. Oh. <laughs> yeah, bro. Who picked zero? Actually, it's going to be for away games on number one. For home games. They, or the new jerseys we got. Oh, you got new jerseys? Yeah, the home new home jerseys. Their number one is in a medium. But it's an extra large for away. It's stupid. Wait, so... So if it can't fit me, I'm wearing 22. What, what, uh, what brand, brand is it? Adidas. Oh, Started, right? Is it nasty looking? Do you got pictures of it? Nah, they said it was tough. I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. They said it was tough. Though. Oh, wait, do, they, do we have it? I can go look for that shit. I yeah, got you keys. can. You could probably find it. Yeah, I'll find that shit. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> shit. Yeah, but no, nah, I haven't seen them. Dang. Russ told me. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Who's zero? Who got my number? Levi. Uh, Levi. Yeah, yeah, no, I think he told me about he that. He wanted that shit. Or, yeah, 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 I told. I was like, yeah, go ahead, brother. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, <laughs> like, Levi got it, and then Russ is number eleven, and Anise got five. Anise wanted five so badly. Russ was supposed to have five. Chase passed it down to him. And yeah, I know. Anise was like, bro, that's my number, man. So he gave it to him. Hey, bro, fuck Russell you, yeah. We all niggas gonna hoop, bro. Yeah, but, yeah. now nah, I probably... I think... Don't you, aren't y'all going on a trip? We're going to Massachusetts. Again? Yeah, and we're going somewhere else after that, too. Isn't it like New Hampshire? Yeah, somewhere up there. I don't know. Oh, okay. North, Dang, I, I wish my shit was in the freaking... Yeah. My senior, we had some shit that was ass. Yeah, COVID. Hey, bro. Yeah. But thank you again for pulling up my brother. Did that you? Yeah, you did. All right. Bro. Thank you again for pulling up. And if you haven't already, uh, shout out to our sponsor, Natural Sheila G. Go copy some. Use code No Regulars in the description. Like I said before, if you need something for your mind, need something for you, for your um anxiety and things like that. If you struggle, if you struggle to focus in school, drink this three times a day. Put in your tea. Put in your water. Put in your uh, coffee and things like that. It'll help you throughout your day. And it's just like natural minerals and things like that help stimulate the mind, things like that. Things you need to survive in life. Cool. Sponsored, sponsoring us, no regulars. And if you haven't already, follow the socials down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, all that good things. And um, yeah, new merch coming out soon. Next merch drop, dropping maybe in like a week or two. Once I just got to get the samples. I think the samples oh, yeah. coming in either this week or some shit like that. Very tough. And you know what I'm saying? Yes, but am I forgetting something? Join the Discord. If you want to play games with well. new games coming out, Modern, War- Modern Warfare coming out. Oh my god. So it's lit. Oh, 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 oh. I'm about to start streaming again, bro. Hey, bro. BT3 streams, BT3 um, gaming on YouTube. What's yeah. it stand for? Again? Start back up. Beef Top 3, bro. I'm All right. To tell niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we different than regular records, man. Gates. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.